Good Monday morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA, live and in color in his 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe interior space, 84 square feet of perfect harmony most of the time. This is the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow. It's partly cloudy and cold. And tomorrow will be partly cloudy and cold. And the next day will be partly cloudy and warm for the rest of the month, finally. Hey Google, good morning. Hello, Rusty. The time is 7.07 .07 a.m. Yep. Currently in Burnett it's 27 and cloudy. <clears throat> Today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 40 and a low of 26. Cold. Have For a good one. You too. That's cold to me, babe. That is very, very cold. Now, you guys that are in the minuses, y'all may think this is a heat wave, but it ain't to me. Anyway, what else can I tell you? Uh, let's see. I was going to mention something. Uh, oh, I've got my new phone coming in today. The road's finished, of course. And what else can I think of? Uh, hey, Google. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It's warmer in Bangor, Bangor, Maine than it is here. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The temperature in Butte right now is minus 24 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus There is currently 24. an extreme cold warning in effect. That's 51 degrees cooler than it is here, and it's 27 here. Yo, that's cold, guys. Come on. They're all dead. They're all dead. <laughs> God, they're, they're, ice, they're ice cubes. But anyway, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a lot of comments. A lot of people like the road stuff. <clears throat> but anyway, what do we got here? It says Ring Huggins. Oh, cut. This is Trenton Clump. That's an it. That is a bumper sticker with a jalapeno on it that says native Texan. That is olive oil and she's waving at you. Those are organic bananas. That is olive oil's bra and that is an Everdry dehumidifier that helps a little inside this small RV. But what really helps is that heat strip in the air conditioner that comes with the RV. Yep, that is the because whenever you run the heat it's using the dehumidifier from the air conditioner and it really dries out the air. So anyway, then that's good. Uh, what else? Hey Google, tell us a joke. One joke coming up. What's Forrest Gump's password? One Forrest One. I guess that's funny. I'm not too sure. I, I, I don't know what to do. I never saw that movie. <clears throat> so I don't know anything about it. Ring Huggins. This is out in about Terlingua Ranch. It says, carry tools and two spares. Be a Boy Scout. Be prepared. You're telling the truth out there. You are for sure. This is on the border fence wall thing. Lauren Shelby. Now you know why that road is so well used. <laughs> I can imagine. <clears throat> Carol Madge. They did a great job. Congratulations, Rusty. That's on the driveway. This one is too. Marcus Lovelace looks great. Hell of a deal. Well, you know, if it uh, it's okay. It looks a lot better. It does look a lot better. It's a lot smoother, and it looks like a real driveway now. This is Lauren Shelby again on the border fence. The new wall is far superior to that old fence. Well, okay, but I don't know if that's going to do much or anything. This is Havramos. Thank you for posting. So helpful. This is on the 12 volt, 110 volt television that's made by RCA. Kay Wallace, great job. Looks so nice. Glad you got it done. Me too. Getting all these things done, guys. Because, you know, probably in about three, four, five years, I'm probably not going to be doing a lot of RV, and we'll see. <clears throat> if I still have my health, I will. But, we'll, you know, when you get my age, uh, things happen quick. Sam Ford, uh, drive looks great. I was just curious to see what a small Class C motorhome would cost to rent for a three-week trip to Key West, Florida. I just about passed out when I found out. Three weeks, $4,300. Well, I have to tell you, they do kind of rob you, don't they? James Rodrique looks great, sir, on the driveway. All of these next ones are on the driveway. John Vitito, love it, love it, love it. 
same guy i would say that the day you found these guys was your lucky day it's obviously not their first rodeo no they're good stuff they they they, they, they were a machine <clears throat> i was very impressed calvin wright great improvement time to sit back admire it and pour a cold one down all right oh you know i was going to tell you something too for all, all of the for those of you that haven't seen the driveway improvement videos i did a, i've got a playlist uh, on my home page uh, for all six of those videos so you could watch them in order and see exactly how it, how it all was put together. And also, uh, if there, there's other playlists there too if you guys want to check out other stuff. We landed one. This is on the driveway again. Rusty, we used to live in Florida. This road work helps. If it rains a lot, everyone with any kind of driveway will have a problem. The driveway looks good. No, that's true. The only two that really stand up in rain are asphalt and concrete and both of those are pretty expensive for me they are because i've got you know i've got about 150 feet of driveway and uh, that's a lot for for me christina marie you're you are just too precious seriously well thank you christina i feel i feel precious <clears throat> BJ, bees outdoor ventures that is something cool it does look nice and practical it does to me too thank you this is red pilled that's the person's name. This is how all the roads were constructed and still are by the county highway department in, in the neighborhood where I grew up. My father called it chip seal. Well, it works. Apparently, I mean, I've heard a lot of favorable things about it. And that's why I felt like I was lucky to have someone do it for the price I got. Bruce Johnson, good joke, Rusty. Thank you. I, I don't remember it. Oh, the, the Google Home joke. This is two strip LJ, stripplege. Now I can Prius stealth camp on a new on the new street on a new street. Yeah, right. <laughs> Go right ahead. <clears throat> Emma thirty ten rusty. It looks great. Congrats. You're welcome. Cindy B looks great. Thank you. Jason Rogers. Well, all are a few range. You'll see if you got ripped off by a usual traveler con job well you know guys i mean i i, I don't feel i wasn't conned i mean if, if they did anything they did what they told me they were going to do and, and that's what i wanted if that's a con then i guess i got conned <clears throat> george h reed jr how old are you rusty i'm 73 frederick prophet lol at your age not working going to the most going the most expensive route uh, no, that wasn't the most expensive route. Actually, that was the least expensive. I, I, I guess he was suggesting maybe at my age I should have gone with concrete, but I, I really don't have that much money to blow. Uh, Chris Lonsbury driveway looks very nice, really nice. I think you got a hell of a deal. Yeah, I do too. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, what else? A Sue D. Hey, hi, Rusty. A while back, I sent you a link to a Blue Bonnet Festival. I was curious if you will be doing that this year. I know you said you never heard of it. Uh, I doubt it, <clears throat> Sue. Uh, I'm not big on crowds, and uh, you know I, I'm not sure what my travel plans are at this stage. I probably will be leaving out of here in April. I'm watching the weather. When the, when the low temperatures are consistently 50 or above where I'm going to travel, uh, then I'll probably leave out of here. Marion Seeley, comment call Rusty. I think you should know that when you look at your computer olive oil waves at us like crazy yeah i know she does she does everything behind my back and when you look at the camera she stops i know she's she's always been that way driveway improvement outdoors with ron that looks awesome they did a great job i think so too guys i mean it's perfectly level and that and you know whenever it's you know smoothed out like that if, if we do get a heavy rain the, the rain will just wash right across it hopefully that won't be too bad John Gertbach says, would a little ditch beside your driveway help maybe so the rain won't come running over it, running over it. Looks nice, Rusty. Hope that'll work out well. Well, well, yeah, a little ditch down one side might help, or yeah, that side. But the problem is they can't do that with a bobcat because I asked them about it. They could, but they have to dip it out like that and it's not going to be uh, very smooth. And they didn't have a piece of equipment to do that with. And to get somebody over here with something with a blade on it, uh, would cost a lot of money and for me to do it with a shovel is totally out 
getting a little reflection here from the sunlight. Sun's just coming up. That reminds me, next week, uh, starting on Sunday the 10th, we turn our clocks forward one hour. So that means on Monday the 11th, this will be 8.20 a.m. instead of 7.20 a.m. Central Standard Time. Do you think I'm going to get up an hour earlier? No. Ain't going to happen. When my body says it's time, I get up. Mary and Seely, you've got a great setup out there. New house, new road, 30 and various visiting animals for companionship and beer 30 to take it all in on a nice day. Good job, Rusty. Well, thank you, Mary and Seely, because... You know, this is not an accident, though, and all of you guys can do the same thing. You just have to find your spot and go for it, <clears throat> if that's what you want to do. This is on the driveway. James Conner looks nice. I have a 200-foot gravel drive that I level occasion occasionally with a homemade rake that I pull with my garden tractor. It has lasted quite a few years, and good is new when I finish. Well, that's good, James. I don't have a garden tractor. For what you paid for that garden tractor, I got a whole new road done. <laughs> I don't know how much a garden tractor costs. I know they're expensive, I guess. Dale Head Geese, another one of your spectacular drive with your talking. Oh, the, this is a drive in Central Texas a long time ago. My, my. Thank you so much again for the effort. The negative Nancy must have been shocked as you were standing guard of your mind. I'll remember that trick for sure. Yeah, you remember the three F's. Feel, felt, found. You know, somebody comes up to dump a load of trash in your in your brain and uh, you say, look, I, hey, man, I know how you feel. I felt the same way, but I found that, you know, dancing on the moon is much better. <clears throat> you know, just change the subject. Two-strip LJ. I know the sun's coming through that window back there, and I'm going to let it go because we are not got much left here. Uh, anyway, good, clean, fun. Been using the waterless turtle wax spray bottle with and dollar store washcloths on Prius 1. Well, good for you. Hope it works. Crane operator looks great, Rusty. Did Jason have any input on your decision to go this route? Uh, not really, uh, no. <clears throat> no, we never talked about my road. Uh, Scotty Thompson, cool comment call, Rusty. Thank you, Scotty. Gene Ward, that reminds me, what does a hillbilly say when he comes back to life? Reincarnation. <laughs> oh, golly, Yahoo, looking good. Gene Ward, Scotty Thompson, we live in a small town, Superior, Wisconsin. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Superior, Wisconsin? The temperature in Superior right now is minus 14 degrees Fahrenheit. That's okay, Scotty. You're a block of ice right now. We live in a small town, have AT&T. We get great cell phone service, so I think 5G will be compatible to my LG Phoenix 4. Three or four bars of, of signal, so I think my phone will be... It, it should be okay. I don't think there's any problem with it. I don't know, Scotty. Cool video talk cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Uh, here we go with R-U-B-E-Y, Ruby Y. Ha. I, so I'm the only one that likes to go to small towns and drive around to see where roads go. Oh, I, I love small towns. This is on the Casita Upgrades, a fellow I met in Alpine, Texas. He had a, a Casita he'd upgraded, and there, this person's name is Steel Nora. Hi, Rusty. I really enjoyed this video. Very informative and food for thought. Thank you. Yeah, that guy had up every upgrade you could think of on that casita. I'm not going to do any. Sean P., great job, Rusty, on the driveway. Shift into high. Look at you. Nicely done, good sir. Well, thank you, shift into high. Mexlama Jamma on the travel light. Shoot, just get the aluminum. It's cheaper and lighter. <clears throat> Maybe. Travel Hawk, driveway improvement, uh, gotta love independent and small business. If this was done by county workers, this would be a three month project and costing taxpayers a couple of million. <laughs> it might. Ben Lewis, great video, they did that quickly and it looks great, rock on brother. Well, you are quite welcome. And with that in mind, hey Google, tell us a joke. <clears throat> Sure, here's one of my favorites. God. Why did the scarecrow keep getting promoted? Because we, he was outstanding in his field. We've heard that ten times. <clears throat> I know the sun. See, the reason I got my RV turned around like this is because the sun comes up in the morning right through that window. And I just love the way it feels and looks. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I'm turned around here. But anyway, guys, 
just remember next week to turn your clocks forward on Sunday, March the 10th. And uh, remember the next day, this video will be one hour later. I don't know how this video is going to come out with the sun shining half in there and whatever. But anyway, uh, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you one penny. And what else? Some of you have been using the link and I really appreciate that. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day, four quarts a day won't hurt you. Uh, it's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. What else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Do that several times a day. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure and that's very good for you. There's my, my shiny hand. Anyway, did you see it doing that? Anyway, what else? Uh, stretch, 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 swivel, swivel, swivel. Uh, walk, walk, walk. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Because uh, you'll feel better and you may live a little longer because of it. Uh, what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Uh, don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain. This is where all your thoughts are formed right up in here. And uh, of course they're receiving input from everywhere else in the universe. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, let in good ingredients and you'll feel better and sleep better and you'll feel contented. So accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative and you'll feel good and enjoy your life. And with that in mind, guys, enjoy your Monday, March 4th already. Can you believe that? 2019. And uh, yeah, the time's zipping by. So if there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it. Adios amigos from Central Texas. Bye-bye.